In this tutorial, we're going to use the definition to find the Laplace transform of f of t equals to t. So given a function f of t which is defined for t greater than or equals to zero, the Laplace transform of f of t is uh, f of s is equals to the integral from zero to infinity of exponent of minus st times f of t dt. But in this case, we are given our f of t there. It's a t and we substitute it uh, into the formula there where we have f of t and uh, we obtain the integral from zero to infinity of exponent of minus st times t dt. But uh, looking at uh, that integral there, it's a product of uh, two functions of uh, t, exponent of minus st and t. So to evaluate that integral, we would have uh, to use uh, integration by parts. So for integration by parts, we have the integral of u dv is equals to uv minus integral over v du. In this case, we'll choose our u to be t and differentiate u with respect to t and we get uh, that uh, derivative is a uh, 1. So from that derivative, we would obtain that uh, du is equals to dt. And our dv, we will choose it as exponent of minus st. And to obtain our v, we integrate the dv there with respect to t, and you obtain that our v is exponent of minus st divided by minus s. So when you substitute into that integral there, the integration by parts would so have t exponent of minus st divided by minus s, then the limits 0 to infinity, minus the integral from 0 to infinity of exponent of minus st divided by minus s times 1 and dt. So we have uh, that is the integral. Now looking at uh, that part, we can substitute the limits there. For the upper limit, we have uh, infinity and the lower limit of zero, and that will simplify to the limit as t approaches infinity of t exponent of minus st divided by minus s, and then minus, then we put the lower limit zero times exponent of minus s times zero divided by minus s. But on that part uh, there, we go on and look at uh, that uh, second part. And that integral with respect to t there, it gives us exponent of minus st divided by s squared. So we have exponent of minus st divided by x squared, then you put the limits 0 to infinity. But if you look at uh, this part there, we are multiplying by 0 in the numerator there. And when you multiply it by zero, we get a zero. So this highlighted part will give us a zero. And uh, for this part, when we put in the limits, we get uh, the limit as t approaches infinity of exponent of minus st divided by s squared, and then uh, minus one over s squared. So when you multiply by that minus sign, which is uh, just before that highlighted part, We'll get the expression, the limit as t approaches infinity of t exponent of minus st divided by minus s minus the limit as t approaches infinity of uh, exponent of minus st divided by s squared, then plus 1 over s squared. It's now plus just because we multiplied by that minus sign before that highlighted part. So we now have uh, uh, this uh, expression and we just need to simplify. So looking at the first limit there, as t approaches infinity, and that limit converges to zero if s is uh, greater than zero. And uh, this is so just because we said that our t is uh, greater than zero. So if s is greater than zero, that limit will converge to zero. And for the second limit there, as t approaches infinity, the limit of exponent of minus st divided by a squared, it also converges to zero if s is uh, greater than zero. So therefore those two limits converging to zero if s is greater than zero, and we'll just remain with a uh, one divided by s squared. So our Laplace uh, transform will be one divided by s squared, and is only valid when s is uh, greater than zero. So that's the Laplace transform of uh, t.